Hello, my name is Mikai Stevens. Welcome to the Hamlet Development Log number 25. We are in development, not premise, coming soon. Uh, let's see, we got Bugs Head. Yes, the cat was sleeping, but now she's like meowing. Uh, anyway, so we, uh, uh, we were talking about this content may not co uh, come out as shown. Um, for this kind of uh, de uh, demonstration for 25, its uh, content will not come out as shown. So uh, we have some uh, demos, so let's get right into it. Um, I have a couple. Uh, this first demo, uh, I guess we'll just get right into these. Uh, these are kind of, um, I have three sort of projects I kind of want to talk about. Uh, this one's kind of the first original, um, kind of the pre, what, uh, in developing the original kind of um, Hamlet, we uh, worked through some um, some ideas on uh, various trees uh, as well uh, and characters. Uh, we we kind of always had the character here. This is kind of a... Um, I believe can you um anyways this is kind of a little demo scene that was set up to uh you know the quit you know add in the quit button just you know really basic stuff to showcase uh unity uh and helping others because I, th I think that's always a prime motive for me to help others anyway so uh part of for the trees uh you can click on the tree you get a little physics uh, we don't have the particles in here um but it's pretty cool uh, for this tree you can actually just hit it once it actually uh, does this uh, pretty crazy um, physics thing. A lot of uh, games uh, in this similar vein have um, these uh, similar objects. Yeah, I don't think you can click on the um, the big tree or the uh, leaves, but you can click on the... Um, so a lot of these games have physics uh, in them. Uh, so this is kind of the main demonstration. It's kind of a... Um, uh, these are physics like based objects that are sort of um, it's kind of how unity unfortunately handles physics so like these uh, these trees um, you know really awesome sir sort of space anchor uh, trees um, anyways they um, they're just uh, four kind of cut logs put together into one um, game object uh, but they're, they their um, phys physics are disabled uh, and then you can actually chop up these trees and then when they uh, the physics are turned on, um, that's just how Unity handles physics. Um, I'm not a big fan of that because it's like that's not physics. You know, it's like some kind of binding gravity is holding them together, and then you turn that gravity on, and all of a sudden it's like it becomes this like opposing force. Um, that's really what physics is: is a force. Um, so it's like you're somehow adding like there's a chop force here, but I guess. It, Anyway, so uh, the main point of this demo was uh, just to showcase something we were working on. Um, the the one of the big problems we we're having uh, the character is also not um, responding to um, physics in a way that we'd like. Um, but um, but yeah, so so we thought, hey, this is pretty cool. Uh, you know, we're just trying to look at uh, event. You know, because a lot of these games uh, they'll drop items on the ground. Um, as you you know chop down a tree they'll drop like the loot on the ground um but and these are kind of loot explosions uh and these are the the stubs of the tree chunks at some point you could also chop these uh, up as well um and then maybe chop these down as well um but um yeah so um but uh, but uh, so some of the the core things we might add um is some sort of uh, we're talking about adding a, a a downward force gravity like to force everything to like you know to sort of um, explode a little bit but then add a lot of force so it kind of forces it down quickly so it's not has this but the, the big thing is is we actually uh, because of Sebastian Lage he's a, a youtuber that we talk about quite a bit he has this new um, a new demo and he showcased how to, these are uh, put up glass walls and you, around this entire object is a, uh, a I guess we can actually showcase in, in the scene uh, around the entire glass is we have this um, these glass objects right here um, which are actually kind of visible but invisible so it's kind of nice uh, and you can uh, it's just through transparency through setting the color uh, it was, seemed really simple but we were doing it wrong at the time um, I think that is somewhat an, um, frustrating you can't actually click oh there we go we actually got the click I guess it just sort of is clicking yeah anyway so that's uh, that's not that's actually pretty cool uh, I guess. Um, anyway, so that actually was really helpful. We were adding. Um, it doesn't perfectly line up, but um, because we're sort of this is a, these are actually um, tiles.
tiles, right? Yeah, these are tiles, uh, kind of like our, our original um, tiled design here. So that's become somewhat a problem where it's like it's harder to maintain the scene uh, from here, but uh, it's actually, uh, it actually works out. And the problem was is like if you don't have that, that bounding box, um, it's the 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 game world can go outside of that bounding box oftentimes, and that you can't account for that. So, um, in our sort of m miniaturized world of what we're seeing here, uh, this could be a chunk. This could be anything, uh, really. Um, yeah. So, that actually felt like it was pretty awesome to sort of showcase that. Um, thought there was something else I wanted to say, but um, anyway. So it's just kind of a, a quick demo of like what sort of projects. Um, you know, we these these. The trees were actually originally um, the kind of some of the actual the tree physics where it kind of shakes a little bit. We can actually play that again just to just for um, I actually really like uh, the tree shake a little bit because uh, it, it does it with physics, um, but it's kind of still stuck to that. Um, you know, puts a little bit of physics, but it doesn't actually knock the tree over until. Um, plus, you get a lot of um, I, this is kind of the original chop missiles I like, um, but yeah. And then, yes, yeah, so, I mean, um, I don't, I think these little tiny things are, they're actually uh, sticks. Um, they're, um, and here's a, this is kind of a, it's not ragdoll physics, but it's kind of a physics with a character who has a box and doesn't have any. Anyway, so that's a pretty good demonstration of that um, project. I think we'll close that one out. Uh, the next one is actually a, a much larger term project. Um, we're talking about this is our combat um, uh we wanted to test combat uh, because we realized that um, kind of shifting gears here quite a bit um, we wanted to test combat and the fact that we knew our characters were um, we had a town um, I think we can actually talk about a little bit uh, oh, how does this, uh, right here um, uh, let's see let's see we sort of have this idea, I guess this is kind of a good demo, of this town here, um, and sort of the royalty, we talked a little bit about that, but then we have this dungeon entrance, so we, we think like this town in the, the, the roguelikes is actually a pretty good uh, fit, we have the town started starting to build on that, I guess that's actually what we also worked on on the 12th, uh, which we'll talk about here, or last August. Um, and then we, start, we have the characters, we have inventory, um, vendors. We have a lot of uh, town elements, uh, economic systems, laws, various things like that that really seem like they, they fit into the town element. So we felt like that was good. The dungeons we, we were showing off a few months, quite a few months ago. Um, we might have to go back into that. Um, it's actually one of the things we're actually we're talking about, the fact that the dungeons, we don't actually have a good shot of this, um, but this is kind of the original um, sort of town elements where you have the tree uh, it's a very you can see very similar tree um, when you knock down the tree it just gives you logs at this point um, it just puts them directly into your inventory um, we oh um, the other thing too we were talking about the idea of dropping items on the ground that may or may not be the the way it works out in the actual game a lot of people do that uh, we're still kind of unsure part of the combat will going to showcase that because that's one of the definite things we'd like to do with the combat um, definitely um, and this combat is definitely not you can see uh, it's Q and E to rotate your character uh, it's pretty much meant to be a pretty free-flowing uh, this is just a um, a um, let's see if we can see the scene here it's just a uh, just a box it's a huge box it uh, just sort of sets the ground for um, I don't think we have physics enabled um, uh, we, we, we probably could, um, th like through our dungeon testing, that might actually be fun to add that into here. Um, anyway, so then we we have this sort of um, um, idea of movement, and it's not quite um, it's not quite working. So when you hit W, it charges up this sort of walk bar, and the idea is like if you get it up to a, l a certain point, you know, like right there, you should start walking, uh, and then as you as you carry on, then it should start running. Uh, and then as you rotate, um, it sort of stops the walk. So if you like do a rotate, you can actually see I'm holding down. Um, I guess it doesn't actually it doesn't actually show that I'm holding down the W. But anyways, it it sort of does indicate that that's the like the direction you're. Oh, I, I thought there was a way. 
Oh, there we go. If you hit W and D, it's sort of try to indicate, but that's, um, as you're holding E and W, it should actually maybe, um, well, I guess E is not actually a key, that's why the, um, we had talked about this idea that this sort of like eight, eight directional movement, um, which we haven't got the rotations in, uh, rotations are just kind of like, you know, rotates around, um, right now. But as you can see, if you're moving forward and you, you can actually rotate pretty good, um, if you sort of uh, jitter it, but if you try to do a hard rotation, it sort of stops. And then it's also the same for back. Um, there should be another way to maybe reverse this or something, um, but it's just the same sort of uh, bar. Uh, and anyway, so we also want to sort of have a the idea that you can slowly back up and then slowly sort of, uh, you can also do a, um, if you're walking forward and you hit attack, it does a thing. Anyway, so uh, let's just continue on. So it's, it's uh, definitely a work in progress. We want to get this out to a couple testers, a couple of our friends, programming friends, um, and showcase them. This is definitely, um, it's kind of like the idea that we would like to have our dungeons. Uh, and this is, oh, I guess, um, oh, yeah. Uh, this guy's actually a defender. It's probably going to be frustrating, too. Um, anyway, so uh, if you hit, uh, uh, well, I guess we were talking about inventory. Well, here's the uh, amazing inventory. Uh, we have a, a few videos coming out um, also we should talk a little bit about that we'll talk about all the ideas behind this video so kind of a spoiler alert here um, it's kind of uh, because whoops uh, oh, I did the scale because of uh, dapper Dino uh, had this new inventory I think so we played with a lot of his uh, inventory concepts and this is what we came up with uh, this is kind of a, a secondary version where we actually have um, two different player objects that are holding the data anyways you can see that you can buy stuff back and forth uh, you, you wouldn't know it but you hit B uh, to close that window anyways you can also talk um, and he said you know Micaiah could never catch me uh, buy or sell and move on so anyways he's a just an NPC uh, it's sort of like this uh, we've seen these sort of windows before this one's just kind of a a temporary one it just kind of goes away and shows up as you come in here um, the character is probably going to be pretty annoying I think I might have to change some code around um, it's a def this knight is a defender knight so he won't actually um, uh, we haven't actually got that far in the, the combat uh, uh, the other thing too is like when you when you do an attack uh, it doesn't actually sh uh, when we do this attack and we hit something like there's a block, you know, and we need a clang right there. Come on, clang right there. See that this bar right here is actually a a indication that we've actually done a move. And when that's coming down, you can actually move. Uh, it's sort of like, uh, we actually have been debating about de removing that option. Um, so as we take this forward, uh, here, let me, um, let me change a piece of code, see if I can get the, uh, uh, I think it's called AI fighter. Uh, this is kind of the uh, underbelly of programming for me right now. It's like where I want to be able to change this character's AI. I have to do it in um, in code right now. Uh, anyway, so we have these uh, just three simple types right now. They're attacker, defender, and a, um, um, a random, which is just decides. Uh, but what we want right now is an attacker. So that will give us a... Um, oops, sorry. hit my mic. That will give us a... Uh, a better sort of uh, combat it's definitely about uh, it's about a week so oh yeah wow uh, it's about a yeah he's gonna kill me uh, oh, yeah. come on uh, one of the problems we know yeah because um here let me change one more piece of code because of um the is ready is set to true automatically so uh, you, we uh, because of how the combat sort of works right now that it's that's uh, one of the bugs we're trying to think about how to eliminate um, but we have to we think it we're thinking we want to add in more uh, more things to it um, I think if I anyway so normally you can just walk up to someone um, you can whack them oh I guess he only has 20 health anyway so you can also right click and defend and as um, as you take out these enemies um, they actually be so this is the yellow um, the yellow knight which is like tier tier one um, oh, here, let me hit F1, so, yeah. Was he going to... There we go. Oh, maybe the... Uh, 
yeah, so the attacking must be Ron. Maybe it's not disabling. Anyway, so um, you can see sort of like it's got a lot of work uh, in place here. Um, you can actually, uh, can I get a defend on this guy? No, you can't actually move. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe he's defending. There we go. Yeah, so you can actually, once you defend in that, uh, like that's what the plan is, just kind of, um, that's how you would actually, def you know, uh, and then the Black Knight's the final. Um, oh, I guess he's the physics interacting is what's happening here. Um, some of these bodies should probably go away. They should just be disabled physical. Um, but yeah, yeah, so. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, see, the shield's actually black. Wow, that is a lot of... You shouldn't be able to do that. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, and then it should reset to a random. Yeah, so now it's random. So now that you've gone through... Uh, There's definitely a massive work in progress. Um, we, You know, it's like we've sort of got all the basics working, but now we need to sort of really... Uh, it just does feel very fluid as well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why he gets into the um, point, you know, super quick... Um, Anyway, so, so, you know, there's a lot, uh, this is pretty much, uh, just fresh project, uh, we just added in these, uh, characters, changed some animations, set up the character, took, uh, four days worth of work, I suppose, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, and also, um, there's also, a, they have a bar as well, uh, I've, I've disabled it, um, maybe I can turn that on real quick, um, Ooh, I think I know why um, that actually doesn't work as well as it, it would like to. Um, because the character doesn't actually know the uh, UI. Okay, I remember. So the UI, we have a secondary bar that's like this, that's over here. But the problem is, is when you get into a combat with someone, it doesn't actually set up the correct target. Um, yeah, so uh, I think there actually should be running. Oh, yeah, yep, there we go. Yeah, so, so it's kind of this idea. Oh wow, yeah. Uh, I think we definitely need to make the uh, the combat uh, cooldowns like random, so you don't always get into a uh, like you know variance on the the cooldowns because what usually what happens is if someone gets hit, their cooldown is much shorter than the person the 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 attack cooldown of the person. So, so once you get a hit off of someone, you can just pretty much um, always guarantee that because your cooldown is theirs is going to be slightly shorter or slightly longer than yours. So, um, and that's sort of like where you get into this problem where um, you can't defend, um, and maybe it should be the cooldown of the defend action is sort of lowering your cooldown. Um, Yeah, and I think that's a bug, but normally, yeah, and I th that's kind of the idea here. It's like this uh, kind of a, a little bit more complicated gameplay where it's like you're supposed to defend, um, you know, with a, with a shield. And I think we should we should be able to defend. I think you can. Can you? I guess you sort of can defend and move. A lot of the animations are definitely not um, happy. Anyway, so that's kind of a, a pretty long demonstration of the... Oh, uh, let's... Uh, I guess we'll talk about um, uh, back up here. We have the uh, um, anyway. So uh, we kind of talked about the tree demo. We have the combat demo. Then we'll talk about the so pretty soon you'll we have we recorded three um, three uh, um, inventory. Uh, we're calling them inventory. So Dapper Dino put out a, a series of RPGs. Uh, RPG tutorials a series and, and this is, and we sort of took a lot of that concept um, which we already knew like all the you know characters NPCs setting up um, his interactions are a little he has, he has a uh, this could actually be his interactable menu as well you could actually just click on the um, uh, we also need a you know is over UI we don't it's not a very easy to determine like it should be easier to say you know what what UI you're over. Anyway, so uh, he has a a a, a, a menu that uh, like a menu that pops up, and then you can click trade or whatever. But we have this sort of talk thing, um, and it's just it's kind of how we thought it would just be better. Um, anyway, you can also say uh, goodbye. Actually, doesn't work because um, 
the character doesn't know that the fact that, you know, as soon as they say goodbye, he's like, oh, hey, there's a character here. So he talks to him again. But anyway, so uh, this is kind of what the videos we've talked about is set, is how we set up this entire thing. Uh, one of the key differences here is that the ability we have this, this is just a button here, uh, which is kind of a modern way to, or um, a newer way to sort of say, you know, that, and then we can say this is the, um, uh, this is the player's inventory. So we start the player out with wool and the merchants have like chicken and then you can just uh, buy and sell. Um, and then so now we have, th th it's kind of, uh, it's one, one dollar. Uh, I think a three wool, three f uh, for one, you should say three, uh, one dollar each or something like that. But it's sort of like in programming, you have to think of, you know, I just sort of met like, okay, that's, um, uh, it was just kind of a, I thought it would be a funner way to display that. Anyway, so, um, so now that they, um, now that, the, uh, so like you can actually buy, um, um, so here's the, the player's money and the merchant's money. So when we buy 38, it was sort of kind of telling us 46 uh, minus eight because they're costing eight. Um, we'll have 38 uh, gold left and we can actually just buy out the, the whole, sh um, yeah, so. And then we hit uh, B, which is actually, um, we're actually hitting B to buy, or, you know, or buy it as in, see you later. Anyway, so that's uh, pretty much uh, a lot of the things we wanted to showcase. Um, we definitely, um, yeah, so I guess I should have brought up the main Hamlet project. Um, let's uh, get back to, I guess, the, um, yeah, here. Okay, so uh, we, let's see. We talked about uh, the game demo, so yeah, I guess we're here. Uh, we still need to clean this up. I think um, the Patreon, for instance, uh, we're definitely not going to do anything without it for a while. I guess maybe it wouldn't hurt to set it up. Um, I was like, oh no, but I just I just hate to get in that feeling of like, especially, I guess now that we sort of have established that we're just doing a video a month, um, that's kind of a new announcement um, kind of plan. Um, we'll showcase that in a few minutes here. Um, and we talked about it, we sort of need to talk about a few items as possible, but it's just, uh, the PowerPoint's just meant to, to sort of, um, uh, showcase, um, I guess, and then too, once I set up the Patreon, I could also do, open up the Discord. The Discord's kind of nice in some respects, and it's also kind of spammy a little bit. Um, it's, it's nice because it's, um, I, I post little, like, GIFs of me working, um, you know, and little tiny things that are here. I can actually just bring up my uh, Discord because, it's, you know, it's just me. So um, it's right over here. Um, uh, just Haven Studios Discord. Um, we just have just, you know, test, you know, experience stuff. We just post uh, stuff like um, it's got this leveling system. So you can see like, um, like these channels actually are just for me. So you won't see them. So there's some memory. Um, I don't, anyways, I don't want to, I don't remember. The, I, I, I don't, I'm not. Um, careful what I post in there so there's just a lot of numbers so uh, so anyway so we talk about like uh, there's Hamlet pr uh, promos uh, so these are just little um, we did this little um, I guess this is kind of showcasing the fact that we have we took this character uh, controller and we bought we picked up the package that we've been talking about for a long time so this is kind of the demonstration of this um, I guess this would be a great way to um, showcase this so um, we definitely this is way this is like you know, this is kind of, it's, you know, the pack, uh, the character is just walking, um, it's partly through the, um, I guess here, let me just boot up the package, um, uh, I should have done that, uh, it's way, uh, we actually might have to do an upgrade, um, because we downloaded, oh, here it is, yeah, we, uh, we, we have 2013, but, um, Anyway, so uh, we, we picked up the, pa the package, we installed the character, I think we scaled the character a little bit, um, and it's not, and it's sort of tile-based movement, but we're still, that's kind of why we're thinking about the big difference in the combat, and, and this movement is we're adding in this whole new level of movement. Anyway, so we just post little things like that, here's our, our testing of the, um, the, um, uh, new task, uh, final one, I think, to finish the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's I was talking about, that. and a lot of this is just me talking, so, um, you know, like, new combat task, um, combat test, um, uh, and, uh, that's what I love also about Discord, is I can just go edit this. 
So that's what I'm talking about. I think that that uh, in the demonstration of the entire the thinking about the entire game for the last few weeks, um, the combat is the last one. So we're sort of this is our starting of pro developing, trying to get this to work correctly, um, which and that's really cool. You can that's kind of the idea. Um, a lot of that didn't make it into the final thing. Um, let's see, there's some other stuff here. So the spammy nature of this is we actually have uh, Quill is kind of the only Twitch person we have, but. Uh, we actually should maybe add a couple other people that, but it's just people we know. Uh, this is uh, Quill's gaming channel, or his yeah, his gaming channel, which he actually does post his um, uh, programming there. But um, anyways, he's been doing uh, World of Warcraft uh, Druid leveling. You also have the uh, YouTube. Uh, this is kind of sharp's kind of uh, okay for me, but I mean, I just go to his main website and some of his like his space game is actually kind of where he's posting more frequent faster to youtube uh, anyway so it's just you know there's a lot of uh we just uh, subscribe i think there's more than sharp here uh, i want to say like hey micaiah steven has just posted a video so um and then we also so oh and then here's the level system so um we i think it's pretty cool that we have a level system uh, there's no rewards or any tied to it um uh timed is actually kind of a uh, timed and achievements were kind of an idea um uh, that we we're talking about we'll have to and then here's some code exercises where we were talking about uh, talking about this uh, this uh, for each uh, idea and then here's the answer so anyway so that's kind of something I thought uh, and anyways I, I won't look at the links and bone and then so uh, the problem for the number one problem I would have with discord is um, I guess I shouldn't showcase the sharp extent because I have maybe I have access to more channels that I shouldn't. I'm a mod in sharp extent. Uh, the problem, the number one concern. I don't know if it would be a concern or it'd be like, um, you know, let me um, let me go to a uh, thin matrix. Yeah, thin matrix is here. So I'm, I'm just I'm not a mod in his channel, so um, you can sort of see like. Um, Hell, I mean, this is said matrix, but you can see that there's 55, you know, hundreds of, thou you know, I don't know how many people are actually in this, but um, it was just actually cool. He poaches, poaches, poses his patch notes. Um, he poaches some, uh, you know, his, his, his same sort of idea that he's um, doing, you know, posting stuff like this as well. But it's like a lot of this is like a spam that he can't keep up with. So and it's like I would feel kind of bad. And, you know, it's kind of like Sharp Extent has, you know, mods and people to help them out. But it's like there's just, and you know, there's a lot. And I would probably do sort of want to do the same things. But, um, I mean, if you really want help, the Sharp Extent channel is probably better. Um, and my community is much smaller as well. So, uh, but it's just like, but it's kind of cool that, you know, to come through here and sort of get, um, you know, especially like screenshots and stuff. It's like you get um, a lot of people... Um, posting stuff about your games this one's actually cool where it's, his game is more complete uh um you know complete uh so it's like you can get a lot of cool stuff and then he also has modding as well which is pretty insane as well so um let's see if we can see a single um not to pick on uh you know um at, well and actually uh which Thin Matrix has been on vacation for a couple of weeks and has been dealing with some pretty serious stuff. So, uh, anyway, so he does have mods. I think this is a mod. Oh, it's a it's a patron. Okay, so yeah, so and then uh, there's might be a yeah. Here's an administrator, uh, and then it could be the he could be the web developer as well. So he actually has a team, uh, somewhat of a team. Uh, anyway, so so yeah, I, I kind of would just feel like um, I wouldn't be able to. I, w I would. I would get more distracted, um, um, you know, showcasing things um, and 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 trying to help people out, and you know, and the more distracted, the less you know, like the less chance I have of, of putting more work into it. Uh, anyway, so we wanted to showcase the. Let's see how we. Yeah, I think it's the village. Yes. Uh, again, this is just a, a couple a couple hours worth of work, so. Um, hopefully this is the correct one. Yeah, oh, oh no, this is actually the, um, yes. Mm, what happened? Um, okay. 
Who prepared better? Camera attached to the. Oh, 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 oh! I think I have to hit a button. Okay, no one, no one panic. <laughs> okay, let me um. Let's just um. Sorry, sorry. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, yes. There we go. Okay, so I mean that's usually what happens is um, I have a uh, RTS camera that that uh, rotates to the scene, but anyway, so you can see um, this is uh, a lot of work, um, like, you know that because we're um, in fact it actually is not um, it, my character assumes a level plane right now, and we actually haven't got um, you know so to, it would be nice to see you can see we're falling through the world here because we're actually above. Um, we, that's above the zero zeroth plane. So yeah, it'd be fun to add in the uh, this uh, the physics controller from the um, the node world into here. Um, you can see it's like it it just doesn't feel. Um, there's a lot of like node problems um, in a tile based game. Like you, would, it's um, it's difficult to you know get some of these you know the interactions better. Uh, some of the scaling feels uh, I guess uh, it feels a little off as well. Um, I think we just, but yeah, so the town um, feels kind of, can we, I guess we can't really, um, we haven't put a, a camera switcher in here. Anyway, so it's uh, it's pretty much, uh, so we have the asset now, so we're going to try to mess with it. Uh, we've got to put a lot of work into it. Some of the crates and barrels and stuff, we could actually easily um, take them and implement them into the, the, the main game. Uh, maybe change some of the shaders and, um, actually, actually pretty cool. Uh, you can see some of the shaders on these um, brickworks pretty um, pretty whited out uh, for some reason. Uh, we like to apply a little bit of tune shader to it so it becomes a little bit darker. Um, you can see that on our main um, um, our main hamlet here. Uh, I guess we uh, we actually added a little bit. Uh, oh, we actually have we took away all the buildings. Never mind. Uh, so, anyways, uh, we started adding this uh, this pathway here. Um, where it's like the part of the village, uh, this is the village chunk, basically, is the extent. So we have this, uh, I think it's five, yeah. So it's five tile, and that's actually is meant to sort of, uh, it's kind of meant to showcase the fact that we're going into the um, the castle here. Um, but the castle actually re realized we needed a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have a six, um, oh, oops, sorry. My friend just added ladders. I'm like, are you copying me, buddy? Um, oh, come on. Oh, there it is. I'm like, there's a key. Uh, anyway, so the, you know, the rest of the game is still uh, active where you can actually pick up all the characters. Uh, we talked about the... We moved the tree and the original tree so we can actually... The physics on the tree, I think, was disabled. Um, we actually added a little... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, our inventory is full. Uh, this is uh, the crate we are talking about, so... Hopefully, uh, and then we actually have our cart. We can actually use the uh, the other cart too. Oh, I think the logs was filling up our inventory. That's why logs are pretty pretty hefty. Um, and then you can actually, I think it's I. Yeah, so you can see like here's our original. Um, uh, this is the idea of this is actually what our inventory more looks like. Um, th this is like a um, meant to be like a icon. And then we actually have a close uh, on the inventory, and this actually can be moved around with the mouse. Um, and then this is actually kind of what our, and, you know, instead of chicken leg, you know, this will say chicken leg, and then it will say um, eight, and then maybe we'll have a little dollar sign, or you can click on it, and it will have some details. Uh, but the mo mostly we wanted to add in the weight system, um, and then this is our, this we have zero gold, uh, is what that's trying to, our, our um, zero copper is actually what we're trying to accomplish but we we have to that's, that's actually why we're debating about having like the chicken leg or you know be um worth one copper as the lowest amount because and then maybe the chicken leg will be worth um uh 10 or 15 or something 
because uh, then we can add, you know, make chickens worth a lot more. Uh, and, you know, and then and then we can actually, like, rocks can be worth one copper or something. Um, um, and then so that way, um, I, that's kind of what the, the idea, I, I guess we're talking about economics, but it's kind of the, the next, one of the next uh, big ideas uh, I guess we do, we have uh, we have. So anyway, that's pretty much the demo. Uh, I know the castle's kind of really off. We have a couple ideas. Um, we definitely kind of need to. We have a lot of graphics. Uh, we have the actual the low poly. Uh, we haven't showcased this in a while. So let's um, let's go talk about that as well. Um, oh no, sorry, uh, Code Monkey. Yes, I haven't seen him, and he's been working on his game. I guess. Um, uh, he did a lot of, uh, um, did a lot of, um, uh, low poly, I think it's, uh, it's Aquarius Max is what I'm thinking about, so hopefully, um, I have no idea of the internet and what's out there, so, uh, I think it's, yeah, there's some cool, cool stuff out there, but. Maybe I should just, um, oh, yep, okay, never mind. Um, a, can I search for a quirk? Oh, there it is, yep. Uh, the guy's name, yeah, see, so the ultimate poly fantasy, sorry. Uh, yeah, so we already own this pack. Uh, the cool thing about this is actually if you look... Uh, let's see, like, this castle, well, the, the, we don't like the, um, the, ta these are sort of like a mid-level town, uh, you get a lot of stuff like that, but we actually really liked, um, the, and these are the buildings are kind of, we, um, they don't have the foundations, which are, maybe they should, but, you anyway, know, so we have access to that, we actually do like the, uh, well, the temple's pretty cool, the, let's see, what we're actually trying to do, um, the boats are actually a kind of cool idea as well. Um, having these boats, I f they feel um, big enough that you can actually have some gameplay here. Uh, yeah, but this is actually what we really, um, why we picked up this pack. Um, but the problem sort of is like the scale of this gate. Plus, it doesn't seem to open. But the top is actually really cool. So we picked it up on sale, so it wasn't that bad. But this is like if we make this. I think we are showcasing this in the node um, database, which is probably what, we'll have to resurrect that project because. At the, that's kind of where we need to go next with the combat is sort of, but that's kind of like what we're trying to get away from is with the combat is like have a more free flowing system that we can be off interact with this um, these more uh, like this how this can be a scene you know that's you know that we can travel in, um, but we're kind of in in that halfway point of, of being a um, you know from here into the actual combat system where you can actually, you know, from here, it's just like you can get, um, you have four directions of movements. Uh, and the combat, we sort of added eight, but we haven't locked it down yet. So you can get off pretty far. You can rotate and go any, like you can just go in that direction. Um, um, but the original roguelikes, uh, and, you know, we do have some uh, physics problems with the, the mountains not, and that's sort of the, the issue here is like because we're on a tile, the mountain is not, um, which is, it gets pretty good sometimes, but then you can actually clip into the mountain because of the, uh, the tile movement. So that's kind of our number one graphics problem, uh, especially right here when you get these half, half movements. Um, uh, and maybe it's part, well, we actually don't have, um, I guess, well, I guess we sort of do in some respects. So we could actually back up. Yeah, we don't have any, any, um, physics checks on the back, but we do have a physics check on the Ford. Oh yeah, we broke the law because we uh, traveled through the uh, cave. Uh, anyways, and then you can also, uh, we, we sort of see that, the, here's that same menu we've improved. Um, uh, and then you can actually, uh, if it doesn't make sense to you, T, G, and B are on a QWERTY keyboard that's sort of uh, just to the right. It's A, S, D, F, and then G. Like F is sort of uh, interact. Uh, which and and uh, F is our interactive key when you're using kind of your left hand. Uh, anyway, so that's uh, pretty much uh, a lot of what we had to show. Um, I guess we should talk about the. Um, were we up to an hour already? No, 40 minutes. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, so hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll uh, patrons kind of, uh, uh, I just, it'd be nice to get some, well, I'm, it would be nice to get everything started, I guess, but we just we just feel like we'd be taking money that we really ha couldn't put to good use, or we've been really debating about changing life and doing something different, but it kind of feels like this is, uh, you know, something we can accomplish for work and, and, and do something instead of just, you know, watch TV all day. Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so we talked about the status reports were filled. Uh, we definitely need to get on to the 19. Um, that's one of the, 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 the difficulties of working on the, all these side projects. Um, we take all these different branches, and then eventually we have to come back and add that all that content and try to push out an update. Um, and it's, it's difficult to sort of get that um, working, and we sort of... Over, we've overloaded the uh, Hamlet, the Hamlet, the Haven, uh, the Haven game engine uh, version three is just a culmination of all the previous updates and and stuff, and we haven't even, and we haven't even added in click to move uh, back again. So, anyways, uh, it's on Steam. It's kind of the whole point of this uh, devlog. Uh, there's a free demo. Uh, it's a pretty uh, outdated demo, but it's sort of showcasing what we're trying to accomplish, and it's free. So. Um, anyway, so uh, we talked. We talked. Uh, log uh, 24 was on the 19th, I think, um, or the 12th, uh, somewhere around there. Um, it was two weeks ago. Uh, the idea is that uh, this is September 2nd, uh, 2019. So we're kind of on log 25, um, and then the next uh, log 26 will be. Um, let me look at the calendar here. Uh, should be on the 7th. So the idea is that. Wow, there's five weeks. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, I guess there's four. Anyway, so uh, maybe on the 30th or the 7th. Um, 30th might be pretty good. Um, we, sh we should be able to put out a... Um, either look for the new video on the 30th or the 7th. Um, yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe the 7th. Yeah. Well, if we do on the 7th, we only have three weeks before the 4th. So uh, we might do either the 30th or the 7th. We'll put out log 26 is the idea. Uh, shift of 5. Oh, shift of 5. Uh, just to start from slide. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, we started this way back. on. Uh, so we set a lot of this up. Uh, so some of this is kind of um, we uh, made some minor changes to sort of update this. Um, uh, also, we're also kind of doing this new idea that we're, in, we're just doing this... Um, uh, over here, we're just going to delete this and move this up and then say log 26 on um, uh, September 7th uh, or September or September 30th. Uh, anyways, and then so we kind of also, we started uh, way back on August 19th. So here we started, we'll probably start on August 2nd. Um, anyways, and then the idea is that we're on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, so then we talked about the uh, coming soon. Um, a lot of it is definitely don't take this with... Uh, the, not a lot of this won't come out, especially in this video. Um, you know, even though there, even though we picked up that whole package and we have the, the ultimate polyphonic, we may never even include that. We're still kind of trying to put together what we actually are trying to, um, and we may not even include the dungeon. We're kind of really like trying to figure out exactly what kind of. Uh, hopefully, there will be a game. That's the idea. That's it's worth about ten bucks. Uh, anyway, so we talked about the announcements. We talked about some topics. Uh, we had the three uh, demos for you. Uh, the tree demos uh, definitely you can see we've made some improvements um we took a little of the physics away i like the uh the scaling down to disappear that's nice um ex you know uh the exploding items and, and stuff drop it on the ground may still happen at some point uh, we have to f clean that up uh, the combat demo is definitely um a it's a definitely a different direction for the game so we'll have to really think it's kind of we've been debating about that that's why we've been um, this movement uh, right here we've been playing with this movement for a lot um, and sort of you know and you can see it in the uh, the promo of the uh, the discord um, it, like is this move like it's kind of feels very janky um, but it's kind of that's kind of how road m movement is but it's not clear in a 3d environment uh, maybe because the environment moves uh, more quickly versus looking straight down it's like you're I don't know. Anyway, so we're just kind of testing it out, uh, testing out the rotation of the camera. Uh, you can see on the Discord here. Um, that's kind of why uh, there's Surf Space Sinker. Um, 
you can see side of um, so uh, Discord is it's um it's just Haven Studios Discord. It's not that probably hard. People could probably anyway. So you can sort of see like we're still testing out that movement in this world. Um, it definitely the we can add in the physics movement as well that we had before. So that would fix some of the the things. So anyway, so it's just the idea just to see that um, you know and t t uh, take the difference on the combat there. Um, whether or not we'll, we'll we'll have to find the balance between the two. Um, I definitely have a, um, it's really um, the uh, movement on the camera uh, is we actually have a smoother movement um, planned right there. I mean, that's pretty, that's okay, but it's like, it feels like it could use about uh, twice as many frames to get to that movement. We also have this idea of the character can actually um, walk more kind of more standard to a tile it's like right now it just sort of moves him instantly and we have this sort of uh walk cycle that will actually kind of move him in that direction which is kind of similar to what the combat's doing but um but we uh we turned it off in favor of trying to move quickly um anyway so that's kind of the idea there uh and then we'll soon uh do um in the next uh, couple of weeks uh, we have we have three videos on the inventory system. Um, there, it's a separate. Uh, the inventory system is definitely separate from what we have now. Um, but we're sort. We might take a, a culmination of, or sort of take all the different inventory systems we have and sort of merge them, and decide. You know, are we using scriptable objects for items? Are we using JSON data? Um, the new inventory just uses JSON like class data, uh, and that's we'll be talking a lot about that in the inventory. Um, so we'll be posting some programming videos. Hopefully, that's the plan. Uh, they're all recorded. We just have to edit, upload, and um, they're about uh, three hours of content. So uh, anyway, so we talked about uh, that's kind of where the items fit in, uh, some of the tools. The equipment uh, is also part of the uh, combat system. Uh, inventories is a big deal. Um, these these are inventory objects um, which we kind of need to add in more. Um, housing is actually part of the village system. We're, we're kind of testing this idea of can we create a town, um, like a procedural generated town, um, that would be better than just kind of having a set town. Uh, and then also, too, we can add in more um, tile-based towns instead of, you know, really... Um, uh, and we also have Tree Rock. We actually really like this interaction. Um, it's kind of a town interaction. We might add animals at some point as well. Um, uh, animals um, that's uh, definitely something we, we actually have uh, when we picked up the uh, Jamin's um, uh, RPG package we his sheep is there uh, we actually need some uh, some art for the sheep where they're sheared basically uh, that would be really cool um, so we'll have animals so that's kind of like you see wool uh, and chicken legs as well so you can run around you know kill chickens I'm sure they they won't revenge on you anyway so that's uh, definitely some you know you can see that we're having a lot of these uh, elements um, this is all kind of the town level uh, you'll see a lot of this stuff you know uh, weapons uh, equipment I'm you know more so uh, in the dungeon uh, and you'll be able to collect different sort of types of resources so that's kind of a, one of the ideas we've had for a long time is that we have uh, town level resources you know wood uh, stone um, and then as you go into the dungeon you'll pick up mushrooms and um, various, uh, I, you know, un the items that can only be found in the dungeon, um, and those are going to be kind of the higher end items uh, because the dungeon is going to be a lot harder. Um, and you can live your whole life. Uh, uh, one of the aspects of this game is you can live your whole life in this town um, as well. Um, we need to definitely clean it up, make it look a lot better. Um, you know, we're definitely sort of getting there. Uh, we have a house uh, working out pretty good. Um, we we might use Jamin's houses to be able to open up the doors and go inside the house. We showcased with the bed system, um, and then you can upgrade your beds as well. So we need to get some of that upgrade systems working, um, and figure out how we're gonna. We've got a lot of that in place before. It's just kind of a matter of trying to figure out what kind of type of gameplay you want to do and what what kind of interaction system you want to work with. That's a lot of our inventories, our quests, our dialogues, even our combat system. You can see there's a lot of uh, interaction in how we do that. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, and then uh, we'll probably add in a lot of more of that. Um, one of the next things to do is the dungeon system. We don't really have a, uh, a slide for that, so we should probably uh, come up with something interesting. We actually had that originally. 
Um, I don't think we can actually showcase that. Um, speaking of Hamlet version 2, um, I think if I just double click, I don't think this will actually work. Yeah, you can see here's our a lot of our a uh, lot of uh, you can see a lot of uh, UI and debug and this may not this may crash. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah! I totally forgot about that. Oh, anyways, yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, yeah, so this, we have the character creation also to go through. There's a lot of a lot a lot of things to do. Um, I think. Anyways, we have a an idea, um, and I thought I saw that somewhere. Anyway, so we definitely need to look at the uh, dungeon creation at some point. Uh, try to figure out how to get a shot of that in here. Um, we might use a promo shot uh, when we're talking about our, 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 our that's uh, when we're talking about our dungeons in the RPG series uh, for the for the um, game design. Um, that was pretty cool. So we'll have to include something like that. Uh, anyway, so then. We feel like we uh, we have gotten pretty far away from the micro environment from this sort of. Um, it's cooler. I think we're sort of the micro. Maybe the micro is more like our actual gameplay of what we're the starting the starting Hamlet um, scene that we've been playing with a lot. Uh, that's sort of the micro environment. Um, so we're at, and the idea is just to add more um, more interactions, um, more like animals would definitely be the next big step to add back in the forest. Um, we started adding in chunks, um, um, and we, we do have, we don't, we, we took away the world, but we've at, but we've, we kind of still have the, the idea that, that items can still spawn into the world, like trees, rocks. Um, we do have some preset buildings, um, which is kind of another idea of this is like it's preset but we really like the idea of the scene but you can see it's really hard to interact with that scene so we definitely have to solve that problem and then too a lot of these buildings are not interact you know you can't go inside of them so we'll have to solve some of those problems um the macro environment's kind of getting a little out of uh, hard it's a lot of because of the that's why the combat system we thought would be really good because it will give us a good uh, what the character is going to actually interact and sort of hammer out that and then once we hammer out the actual character interaction I, um, we'll have to you know continue that from there um, anyway so just uh, leave a comment uh, we'll, we'll definitely um, appreciate uh, everybody's support we don't check our email as often as we probably should um, I do want to get one more talking about the combat um, just to, to, to wrap out what my next month is going to be like uh, we we spent a week um, we spent a week with this. Um, one of the problems with this system uh, right now is the fact that it's sort of a bare bones system, um, which is pretty cool because we can add cool things like this. Um, but it doesn't rotate, you know, as well. It's just not, you know, not great. But um, uh, and then um, uh, anyways, and then you can't interact. But those are kind of like things we're not too. Some things are like like the interaction of here. We're actually not concerned about because we've done it so many times, um, and we've actually have this uh, an interactable window. Like you can see, like if this is a house, and we switch to an RTS camera, we can actually see this this this. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm sure you can see this uh, and like rotate, and you'd have to actually rotate that. This is I think 15 degrees or. There's a, a certain degree of rotation that felt good. Um, yeah, see, he has a, he has his own little, uh, and I think it's rotation on the the object level. Uh, new. Ah, yeah, it's 33 degrees, which is a um, it feels pretty good. Uh, there are some little you know indications of uh, the fact that you know. Um, but when you're looking straight down at a 45, it's like, it's, I guess that's sort of it. It's like, as the camera is rotated, what is our, is our camera 33 degrees? Mm. Uh, we actually just have this, uh, this demo character and then he has a camera attached, which is, uh, 33 degrees. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that's sort of it. When the camera is rotated, the object looks best. Uh, I get, there is some sort of like when you get up here, it maybe might be smarter to, um, to, uh, you know, but you know, I guess that's sort of it. When the camera's at 45, the UI that's rotated to look at the camera should be 45. 
Uh, so maybe I should try that and see if that works out. Um, but it just felt good. Uh, 33 is degrees. It's like gives us uh, this range of motion. We've talked a little bit about this where I have this um, this range of motion here. Um, and then um, and it feels like, you know, and then the character set forward. Uh, I guess this should be rotated a little bit, 33 as well. Um, and this one's actually more overlay UI, so it's not rotated. Uh, but I guess it could be. But I think the rotation of this would be kind of annoying. Uh, anyway, so the idea here is if you, uh, you think about this from this point of view, the idea is we don't have this yet, but the, uh, and maybe the nameplate is kind of a off. But if, if you're like this, you can actually see what's behind you. But you, you sort of, you know, you don't get the full, uh, can I get a, um, can get a little bit of here. Let me. We should just do. Yeah. So, so that's kind of like where the character could sit. It's it's one tile behind you. Um, I think if we sat like right here, you can see it's like half. It's it's kind of meant to be a half a tile. Uh, in some respects, the half a tile behind you is where you can see. But you can see, um, you know, 15 tiles in front of you, and then you know you get this peripheral vision as well, where you get to see. Like if this guy, you know, you don't get to see this guy as well. Um, let's see if we're over here. Uh, let's go a couple more tiles. Um, you can actually see him pretty good here, but as he's, you know, as you're getting closer, your vision cuts off to four, um, which is actually pretty cool. So that's kind of the idea here. Uh, and then you, yeah, you can look to see him, but the idea is if you're looking straight forward. So, so you can sort of see this sort of half circle around you. Uh, which is kind of like a, it's just kind of emulating the human eye in terms of what you can see um, you know and then like as as you as he comes he's probably a little bit too um, I guess that's probably pretty good right there where you can like if you're looking straight forward you just out of the, the clip of your eye you can see someone going that direction and the idea too is like if I could add some sort of fading to him so it's like you can't see whether I, um, the blue image is just, just sort of the, the character we're using. This is contr this is 22 megabytes, but um, we didn't want to add in. Um, and the mouse the mouse character is sort of a uh, obviously I like shields. <laughs> Anyways, the mouse character is pretty cool, but it was just like oh a different type of model. So uh, instead of and then we actually uh, um, increase the uh, color colorization of the uh, character. So to, and it's just to indicate difficulty. Um, so, so anyway, some of the next things we want to do is add in drop items, you know, talked about that. Um, it's like the difficulty is like trying to take this system, add it to the game engine, which we haven't really done, uh, and try to add in, you know, some of the, cause then it would just make too complicated. So the, the other alternative is take the entire system and dump it into the game engine, which is probably what we would do, but then it gets kind of, uh, convoluted of like all this code that's like, the, the the game engine becomes really massive. Anyway, so um, we probably will take the next month to try to increase this, work on inventory as well, I imagine. Um, and that's partly of uh, this is just because we wanted to add in. Oh, um, and obviously we have to... Oh, sorry, not that. Uh, obviously we have to make this uh, much better. This is just kind of a preset UI. Uh, and that's the thing. We don't, we're not worried about this UI because... Um, um, and then here's the wool that you can, you know, drop some wool from sheep. So uh, the idea that we can shear sheep and stuff is definitely. Uh, but we we already have uh, pretty decent. Uh, not the UI is not hooked up, but we have uh, windows and we have close buttons and icons and cool stuff and a lot of the idea that we're going with. So that's definitely where you can see we're not worried about that. We're more worried about, in this case, the interaction of the of the items and buying and selling uh, is of the point uh, and not the, the fancy UI. Anyway, so hopefully that's a pretty good uh, month of updates. Uh, we'll probably, uh, this is probably a pretty good plan. Um, I, you know, it's like uh, I should probably do maybe 15 minute videos or something for but it just feels like a lot of work and uh, I don't get, seem to make a lot of progress per week um, and um, right now uh, we're definitely kind of back to work a little bit more full time oh uh, I guess we we're gonna talk about um, I mean I don't know it seems kind of pointless but um, for me um, Brackies has a new video out so we're gonna go over that that's usually kind of it's kind of a damn life of oh and hey code monkey just came out with uh, 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he released his uh, game, so that's what he's been working on. Um, anyway, so he has, uh, we kind of, you know, sped through the end, but we're actually kind of going to go through the top-down shooter. Um, uh, we may, we're talking about doing a mobile game. Um, we are just, we were just watching this guy's, uh, no, not this guy. Someone, Danny? Yeah, this guy. He's kind of a, well, he's got 70, 177,000 viewers, so I'm not sure why. Um, I think he had he had some. Is this the one that had the uh, click game? Oh right, right, right. This is the guy with the uh, the physics. Uh, it's kind of cool where it's like he's working on a combat game as well, but he's got these really cool weapons and uh, it's just yeah, it's it's pretty cool. But yeah, it's just um, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of. Oh, this one's actually really cool. I like the train. Um, I had some ideas for train, so anyway, uh, so it's just kind of uh, it's really cool. I, uh, so I just thought, oh, he's kind of doing a dev. It's more of a devlog, I think. Um, he does talk a little bit about programming, but not as much as I'd like. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, so yeah, so anyways, he was talking about a mobile game. I've been thinking about working on a mobile game. I I kind of want to do a smaller project. I guess is kind of the the I like work on a smaller project as well to try to build up the studio a little bit bigger um and then kind of the you know and this is my my dream game is to make the rpg so i i you know that's like i'm always like am i gonna stop making it and it's like always like well no <laughs> it's really my dream game and i probably will you know it's gonna take me even if it takes me a hundred years i would still love to make a rpg because i, I really enjoy them um, you know, the Zeldas to the Dragon Warriors to the, you know, uh, maybe not so much Final Fantasy, but I, I really love the first one. Um, and that's kind of, uh, you know, I'm not trying to make a character-based RPG. Uh, uh, and the other thing, too, I'm not sure, uh, well, here's some procedural generation. Uh, this one's pretty cool, but it, it, uh, it took, this guy takes a long time to get just nothing off the ground. So, but hopefully we'll have to catch up with him. Um, it's definitely something I need to... He's actually talking about more modular buildings. Um, I've actually spent quite a few... Uh, we should probably talk about a devlog of this because I spent quite a few hours building a project for that. And we also have a click-based game as well. So we should probably add... I'm, I'm kind of debating about going more programming. Um, the other thing, too, I, I kind of want to talk about is... Uh, we talked a little bit uh, just to wrap up uh, my month... I'm not sure how it's going to go, but Thin Matrix is actually, uh, he's got a new start, so we're going to be following him pretty closely, so we'll have to see how, what happens with that, um, uh, and the other thing, too, is, uh, we, we did an hour video, so obviously we're kind of, um, uh, let's see, yeah, Sebastian actually has this, uh, ecosystem, which we talked a little bit about, um, well, he actually talked about the uh, the Boyds, and that's where we pulled off the um, the um, the um, uh, pulled off the uh, yeah um, the glass and stuff. But he also has this ecosystem that's really cool, uh, and it's kind of a complete. This is kind of talking about the world. This is like a really beautiful world, but it's like and it's massive. But it, it, it's it's bit built with meshes instead of actually tiles, so it's kind of, or nodes, so it's like we're kind of, I mean, it's all based on nodes and tiles, but anyway, so we'll have to see um, what, you know, so that's kind of uh, the sort of what he's going to do, what Thin Matrix is going to do, um, we'll have to see uh, any tutorials and we'll catch up and then we'll be um, um, uh, adding in more combat, I think the main focus will be the combat. Uh, see if we can clean that up and try to um, decide what we want to add into that. Um, if we want to add in more game systems, or we definitely want to add in more game systems, but how we want to do that and how we can clean up the combat so it feels a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more fun. Anyways, that should be about an hour, so I um, I don't want to bore you forever, but uh, thanks for checking out uh, the devlog for Hamlet. Uh, we will be back in about a month, so either on the 30th, or on the 7th, uh, probably the 30th sounds pretty good, but I don't want to stick to that. Uh, there'll be an update on the uh, discussion channel probably, deciding what to do at that point. So check that out, uh, just Makai Stevens' uh, YouTube, the programming one. And uh, there should be a discussion tab, and then you can see I'll post stuff. And then uh, maybe we'll, t we'll think about uh, releasing Discord and then doing um, 
the Patreon and I don't know. It seems like I, if people are interested in supporting Dev through you know buying me a coffee or something. That's cool. But you know, it's like I'm I'm sort of I have the most of the money I need. I, well, I mean I need to. There, there is stuff I should I I should uh, should set up a uh, buy me a preamp uh, for on Patreon. Maybe you know track some some goals there, and we can start um, you know use that money. You know, also need a. Um, a modem, you know, it's kind of the two tech upgrades I'm really looking at right now. Anyways, I guess I'll talk to you later. Uh, you take care. Oh, and I'll start to get a second monitor, although that seems kind of greedy. Anyways, take care. Uh, thanks all.